lots of requests for, from people to do the makeup look that I was wearing in my disappointing products video. And I also had lots of requests from people who wanted to see a natural everyday look. So I just combined those two and created this. So you could do with or without the lashes, but honestly, this look is so easy. You could create it in like 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to start this look off, I'm going to start by priming my face with the Maybelline Blur and Illuminate Primer. This is the one that I've talked about like a million times. All right, so for me, I like to go in with something a little bit less full coverage. So I'm gonna be using the Nuance by Salma Hayek foundation in the shade Light Medium Cool with my Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender is definitely the fastest way to apply, I think, to apply foundation. So after foundation, I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown foundation stick and just bronze up my face a little bit with it. And it's very pigmented, so I only put a little bit of it on. It's kind of cream contour, but just on a smaller scale. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender again. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is conceal my dark circles. Put that on there. I understand if this is too much effort for you, but... So I'm just putting it in the center of my face like I always do, you know. And once again, blending it out with a beauty blender. If, I just think it's fastest to do your whole face with the beauty blender. All right, so especially in these summer months, you wanna set your foundation and your concealer. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and um, a Cap on D brush just to put that powder down and set it and forget it. Most people on an everyday basis uh, don't have time to be using dip brow, so I'm just gonna go in with a pencil and quickly fill in my gaps. All right, so now moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna do something really simple and natural that is practical to do on an everyday basis, um, you know, like before work or before school or whatever. So um, I'm gonna start out by priming my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot Painterly. And I'm using a Kat Von D concealer brush for this. This is gonna make your eyeshadow stay on all day. I'm just using that brush that I set my whole face with and going over that to set my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar for this, and I'm just gonna take a couple neutral colors and just pop them on the crease and call it a day. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I'm just roughly putting this all in the whole crease area, even like lower down, because, I mean, it's just gonna give some dimension to the eye. That's the whole purpose of it. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into this darker shade right here with the same brush. And I'm just gonna put that right over top of where I put the other shade. Okay, now to further blend this look, I'm gonna take the MAC 224 brush and blend that out more. God, I haven't tweezed my eyebrows in so long, they probably look so bad right now. Sorry, you have to look at this right now. Just to add some more warmth to it, I'm just gonna take this shade right here. And I just put that on the upper part of the crease. Blend it back in with the rest of them. It, I literally only use three shadows and two brushes. Now for the under part of the eye, I'm going to take this Sony Kashuk pencil brush and dip it into the medium shade that I used, or actually the darkest shade that I used, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just put that on that outer third portion of my eye, the under part, obviously. I'm just roughly applying these colors because since it's so little, I'm just gonna blend out the smallest 
the small little details anyway. And that's it for eyeshadow. It's so simple and so practical for every day. All right, so I'm gonna go do that other eye real quick and I will be right back. So now that the eyeshadow is complete, I'm going to move on to eyelashes. So I'm gonna curl them and then put on some mascara. And I know most people wouldn't put on lashes, but I feel like I'm going to want to. Okay, so you could stop this look here, really, but I'm gonna apply false lashes just because I'm extra, okay? Um, really, I don't encourage you to put lashes on for this look because you don't need it, but I'm me and I feel like I need it, so I'm going to. <laughs> okay, so I have my lashes on and now I'm going to start highlighting. So I'm using the Highlight Crush Pearl from, the Anastasi from Anastasia Beverly Hills. putting this on the high points of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze slash contour my face with the Tarte Park Ave Princess Bronzer, like I always do. And this is a Morphe brush um, from the Vegan Collection. It's got like a flat barrel or like a, a pinched barrel, so it's really good for contouring. Okay, so on the blush, I'm going to use this Milani Luminoso blush, and it is pretty nice. Okay, so I put on my lipstick real quick, and I chose the color Aquarius by ColourPop, which by now I'm sure all of you know is my favorite lip color. Um, but I chose this because I think it's perfect for everyday wear. And for a neutral look, I mean, really you could choose any color for this look because it's so neutral, but um, this is what I chose. Last thing to do is just to set my face and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Fix. All right, so that was the last step to creating this look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!